uh, you ever play, play something, and then you think, oh, my guitar is obviously out of tune. There's no way I could be uh, of such a low proficiency in this instrument. And no, my guitar is completely in tune. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about, like I did in my other video, my, my thoughts and opinions on the Gravity intro lick and how I like to play it after listening to it probably at least a few hundred thousand times now from different people. Um, so basically, uh, I don't want to structure the video, I'm basically going to play through it and then talk about each kind of point that I think is important to for me to play it the way that I think that I like it best. Uh, there's a million ways to play it. I have seen it played live by John Mayer played like this. Uh, I've seen it played by people on Instagram like this. And the way I like to play it is... with a little bit of spice on it. So we'll see, so let's get into it. So basically, starting off, um, there's the intro slide. It's like... And I think when you're playing it uh, as a solo, or when you're soloing with the song, and you're ending, and that you're gonna go into that lick, you would do something like this. A little bit more uh more energy but i think when you're doing the actual intro lick of the song i like to finger pick it and then go from the seventh to the ninth fret so that's the, the first part is the slide the next part is you have those two g notes again you, a lot of people play without vibrato and staccato i like to play it with a lot of vibrato and legato so and uh, you go from those two legato notes and you're hammering on to the 10th fret and then bending. I don't actually play. I don't, I don't strike the, the B string again from that 10th note bend up to the B note. I like to just do it. sounds a little bit more again it's a, these, this and slow dance are both delicate songs uh, at least for the like actual the lick part of them um, so I like to do it like that and with the bend you're bending obviously into the 12th fret of, of the B string so B note uh, the bend vibrato is when I learned how to do bend vibrato that was what really for me I was like oh that's that's cool that's a really cool thing um, so Add some bad vibrato there, and then you go into this part. That um, I the only pedals I have on now are my Klon and a delay, uh, so I'm not using a trem pedal, but I like to actually just bend the neck. I think that sounds nice. Um, again, this is all fourth position pickup. So for that part, you get you got to hit the bass note. If you're finger picking it. You're like, And it's it's uh, the bass note first, and then hammer on. So, I don't like when you do it at the same time. It doesn't have the same effect. You have it stacked. And you go in the second time, and I do it again from the seventh to the ninth uh, slide on the G string, and then the same pattern, more or less there, the same concepts apply to this next part. Except I will strike that tenth. I will play that again. I won't. That's not just like a. I will play that part again. It would, I'll pick it. And then it's. Uh, so you have a like a slur or slide thing there, which is cool. So it's a slide down, and there's no picking. It's, Same principles apply, but this one on this on the third time around, when you're going for that second repeat of the first lick, you can go maybe slide in from a little higher. But I think for the first one, it's got to be that pretty concise uh, from the what is that D to E note there. Uh, so you get back in, and then this is where you can kind of uh, improvise a little bit with this whole like. G major uh, kind of thing that you can do there. 
sing of. Do something. That's completely up to you. Um, but I do like to at least do something different there, typically. And then when you go in for the final one, this is where things can get really cool. You have... And I think a, a cool touch on that is when you're going... Strike the bend. From the bottom and the top. So you're actually bit, like releasing the bend almost. That's one way to play it. I mean, there's a million ways. it off with uh, some kind of minor lick within that BB box. It sounds really good. My old guitar teacher Dan was awesome played it like this. Like, <laughs> Any of those sound good, but um, I think that you got to maybe come up with your own minor thing. I've played it before like... <laughs> saw that played live at the forum in 2019 I remember like fuck I gotta find a YouTube of that that gravity before it was such a cool lick at the end there um it like to that when you play that minor part uh especially seeing it live it totally like the it's it's such an energy change from the super major whole thing it's really cool um anyway those are my thoughts on the intro you just go uh, straight into the G major song the song's pretty simple I'm gonna make another video talking about how to solo on the song, or at least how I like to solo, and to cover those changes, because you have... It's a very different uh, chord progression at the end. It's not just a G major. You can kind of go, you can do all kinds of... Uh, minor things on top of it, which can sound really cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope those kind of little, little points can add some some uh, new dynamics into your playing and like and comment if you have any questions. Thanks.